Good afternoon from Boston, where championships in the National Football League and Major League Baseball have been celebrated in the last year. The NHL Bruins played here and beat Toronto last night in the playoffs. And 12 hours later, it's the NBA playoffs here in TD Garden. As the fourth-seeded Boston Celtics host the fifth-seeded Indiana Pacers in game one of their best-of-seven first-round series. Brian Forte and Scott Wall on the replay office in Secaucus, New Jersey. The official there is Tony Brown. They're among the three. With Boston winning three of them, in fact, three in a row. They got Collison outside is Turner. He can hit the three. That's a long two. Yeah. He's also the Celtics rim protector, so if you can lure him away from that, it's going to allow those easy drives. There's a shot by Kyrie Irving. The Celtics averaged 25 points in transition buckets. It's Turner outside, and here is Matthews. That is a three. He's going to have to make Kyrie Irving work at the defensive end. Try to I wear steal. him out. It's Irving. As Turner spinning, here comes Horford. A great but McMillan told us. We can't turn the basketball over, and we can't allow them to get out in transition. This is Bogdanovich with a dive inside. Young the other way, finding Matthews on the wing. With Turner on top, and here comes Collison. Good move by Irving, and he finds the two inside. Area. Nice start here for the Pacers. Pacers have four field goals and four different guys, and a great dive in right here by Chips it outside. Brown with the three. Rebound by Bogdanovich. Beautiful ball movement here by Boston. Just couldn't get the ball to go down as Woo! Matthews has knocked down his basketball. So when you do those secondary swings and get Kyrie the basketball in those quick hit pick and rolls, that's a very dangerous offense. Like Matthews wow. with the back cut offensively, who's really struggled since coming over in that trade. Hayward knocks it outside. Irving quickly in the court. That is a three and it's put up. Five assists on five made field goals so far. Celtics the other way. All five have committed a turnover except Hayward. He's in with a back pedal in there There is Hayward on top with a screen looking like a pick and roll and they will have that pick and roll, that screen roll early in a possession. Marcus Morris inside for two. Just like that, a 7 nothing run by Boston. Now they come to within one after trailing by eight. Here comes Young trying to work into Tatum. Does and gets the two with a come out ahead. Wesley Matthews has put an eight for Indiana early. Bogdanovich with a drive. And Sabonis will tap it up and in. And Morris the other way. Celtics have got nine points from their bench and six from their starters. That's a three. 21 points. Reggie's already got 10 points here in the first quarter. 10 of the 18 Celtics points. Oh. That'll be off the glass and down. I felt like we had some guys that were open. We didn't get the ball to continue to play together. Thanks, guys. Perfect. A euro step by Gordon Hayward. And a rebound by Sabonis, who came in that trade from the Oklahoma City Thunder. Oh, nice oh, hero oh, step oh, right oh. there by Tyreek Evans. Again, McDermott tries to put up the miss with the chase and the save and a new shot clock with which to work. Got to get the ball to Sabonis. Evans, three. Good! Tyreek Evans. But you also want to get out of here quickly. Is leave. He can knock this down. You just said that because he's from UCLA. Very <laughs> obvious. Joseph with a three. He'll put it in. Corey Joseph with a Two straight Eastern Conference Finals. Last year doing it shorthanded. No Hayward, no Kyrie, who takes the shot right here, puts it up and in. Irving scores. And Red just talking about him. Shot clock at three, a gyrating Evans. Nice rebound, hauled in there by Horford, picked up by Young. Nice pass into Evans. Nice turn. Ties the second year player from Germany. Knew he was going to play Irving with a little crossover. Another one! A floater, no! <laughs> Picked up by Young. Bogdanovich with a trailer and goes right into the defense of Rozier. Count it! Three straight Boston over Indiana in the regular season. They were going to come into this taking him too lightly. There's another turnover and a lead pass for Collison. After Young got the steal and gets the assist. Celtics this quarter, 2 of 12 and 4 turnovers for a team that does not turn the ball over. Tatum 3. Nothing but nylon. One person that's doing it, doing it, can they sustain offensively this type of pressure that they're putting on? Nice feed. Sabonis was on a break. The deep foul. Probably done for this quarter, for this half. Here they are now playing the big. Spacers will have both Turner and Sabonis in there. Three. Good! Starters here. 
Joseph is in. Turner from outside. Short. Joseph is there to collect it and put it back up in Ebbing. He's in a straight jacket trying to get away. Ball knocked away. Retrieved by Sabonis. Shot clock at four. Joseph triple. Good! Wow! With the switch on defense. Hayward ruggedly goes inside against two. Sabonis tried to get that shot up. Here comes Tatum. The other way. Who averages about seven rebounds and three blocks a game. Now here comes Evans. He was a spark offensively. Finds two. Cut. He never broke. Half minute to play. Almost another turnover there for Boston. Hayward will take it himself with a burst. Now down to 30% for the Boston Celtics. In this game. Try by yeah. Brown. Outside to Horford, who draws the defense of Young in the shot clock at eight with a twirling move. Got three and puts it down. Once again, Jalen Brown. It's interesting. They got Tatum and they got Brown. Young guys are not developing. They need them. Here's another good spin move by Horford. Count it. Sits right there. Three turnovers. Kyrie the other way. Now Irving still quiet. Three of 11, just seven points. Long two. Bogdanovich defending. A bonus, and Matthews will work on Kyrie, trying to squeak inside. Can't. Forced outside. Rebound. Baines cleans it up and puts it in. Brown. Matched up. Working into Joseph. Kicks it outside. Kyrie. With the shot clock at five, he contorts and fires. Irving perusing 13 points. Six have come in this quarter. Shot clock down to four. Morris, little mid-ranger, puts it up and in. Marcus Morris, Sienna in this third quarter. Matthews can't make it go. It was a long one. And here comes Irving in a full head of steam. Morris trailing three. Wow! Here's that trend. Sabonis setting a screen. Turner down low. And Tyreek Evans. That's the five on the floor with three and a half to go in the third for Indiana. Joseph will try. Rejected by Horford, but count it. Only being down by nine points, but I just don't know where the source of offense is going to come from. Sabonis three and seven. Here comes McDermott with a scoop and a drive and count it for two. Great turn right there by Joseph, but could not make it go with the pass inside. And Sabonis with the miss. Rozier could if it goes and it does. Terry Rozier. First half. And it's off to Tatum against McDermott. Young is there. But so is Horford. And that's the profit. Horford inside. Caught by a cutting hero. 30% of Indiana for the game. Shot block at three. Joseph has to fire. Cool. Misses the shot. Rozier took it hard. It's five on four the other way. Tatum three. For the Indiana starters. Al Horford slow in the first half. Now seven and eleven for the game. That's a three. when I played for the Pacers on the road and what I would do with these last seven minutes. And there's a nice move there by Bogdanovich. Hounded by Rozier and Morris. Morris has got a 20 point afternoon going looking terrific. Nice shot there by Cup. This is game one of a triple header on TNT. Next two games tonight, 6.30 Eastern. Horford will watch that punch in. A, a game which is 29th in the league. 0 of 11 this half. Drive by line. Young. I'm sorry, Reg. Drive by Young and Collison looking for Turner. Broken up by Kyrie mm. Irving. He's been much more active in this second half than the other way is Tatum. It's a three. Good! Gives off to Brown. Wanamaker's out of pit. Got some time late in the season. Bogdanovich with a drive and gets it to go. Brown long two. Rebound by Collison, early release, Young, look out, Bruton Tatum at behind, and that, and this one is over. Celtics in the second half, outscored Indiana, Boston 46, Pacers in the second half, 29. And so that'll set up some interesting moves for Nate McMillan as the head coach of Indiana for that game two coming up later this week.
Well, number one, they're going to have to raise their intensity. You saw it in the first half. A better ball movement. He got off to that quick start. They had big lead in that first quarter, but they were only up seven at halftime with everything the Boston Celtics were doing, turning the basketball over. Just the physicality of Boston in that second half. I just thought they were so much more physical and did a great job of ball movement. All right, 10 point win here for Boston. Let's go to Rebecca Harlow. Thanks, Kevin Kyrie. That defense in the third quarter was a game changer. A lot of great adjustments in the paint, but for you, you were just so op you were just so optimistic out there with your defense. What was the key there? What was your mindset without Smart? Being resilient. Uh, I miss Smart. Oh, man, I miss him so much. Just from the intangibles that he brings to the game, offensively and defensively, he just really shapes our team really well. And we all had to pick up for him tonight. And this one's for you, bro. 15 more to go. Um, but, you know, we just got to come out with that same attitude, same pressure. Didn't shoot particularly well, but we did the little things to get this win. Talking about shooting 84 points, not easy to come by tonight. You're going to have to be efficient offensively in the series. What's going to be the key to that? Uh, just staying patient, taking great shots, limiting our turnovers. Uh, we had 17 TOs tonight on eight, 18 assists, so that margin's got to get better, but we, we just got to keep getting mature. Just keep you, getting mature. You talked about how you just couldn't wait to get to the playoffs. How happy are you to be here, and what are you going to take into game two? Same excitement, um, you know, same patience, but it's been a year for me. Uh, two knee surgeries, uh, you know, around this time, you know, I had antibiotics I had to take every single day, and... You know, it's a long, long journey to get back to just this point to be able to play. And um, I'm just truly grateful. And this is for all the people watching and all the people that impact my life.